From the very start of this pandemic, those frontline workers have risked far more than just exposure to the virus, witnessing consistent tragedy and trauma. For many workers, that emotional and mental toll has hardly let up. That's why the state's Department of Human Services is partnering with Rutgers University Behavioral Health Care Department, launching a help hotline for those in need. I recently spoke with DHS Assistant Commissioner Valerie Mielke about the program. She says even heroes need help. Assistant Commissioner Milky, it's great to have you on the show. You know, these are people who are used to offering the help, the counseling, probably not asking for it. So are helplines the way to go to reach these folks? I, yes, they absolutely are, Rihanna. Um, I think that with the helplines, it gives p individuals the opportunity to call in at their leisure when they are available. Um, you know, our healthcare workers, our first responders are working 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and we want to ensure that they have the supports that they need it um, when they need it. So the helplines really are a, a wonderful way to, um, to get supports to individuals. And so now there are two, yes? Tell us what the two are and, and how each are geared toward those different subsets of, you know, workers. Absolutely. So we have our HEAL um, help, helpline, and it's supported through um, Hope and Healing, um, Rutgers um, UBHC, University Behavioral Health um, Services, are the ones who operate it. And that is for um, our healthcare workers, our healthcare workforce. You know, those individuals are out there on the front lines in the hospitals, um, you know, every day. Um, in medical settings every day to provide support and treatment um, to, to individuals. And so those lines are, um, are operated by crisis counselors who also um, have worked in the healthcare field. Uh, many of them are nurses, um, but there are other healthcare practitioners as well. And, um, and they're there just to provide support, give individuals an opportunity to speak with someone who has worked in the same environments that they are working in. Um, in addition to that, we have our RISE um, helpline, and those are for our first responders. And again, those, are, um, those phones are answered by firefighters, EMS um, individuals, and um, other individuals who are first responders. Again, um, in, there are individuals who are trained in, to provide crisis counseling and um, you know, and they have the opportunity to provide support to individuals, understanding that the, envir the environments and the pressures, and the challenges that their environments that they work in uh, present to them. How great is the need? A lot of these workers witness tragedy after tragedy beyond just, you know, risking exposure themselves. Yes, um, the need really is great. And, um, you know, first responders, um, healthcare workers, are out there supporting and treating um, individuals every day. Um, but I think at times um, they're not taking care of themselves and their own well-being. And, um, and so participating and calling out to these lines helps to better even equip them to do their work because it helps to keep them healthy as well. Assistant Commissioner Valerie Mielke, thank you so much for taking time with us today. It really is my pleasure.